our beloved viewers. It's 9 p.m. You are watching our live RTD channel. Welcome to this English news edition. Here are the major stories. A workshop to update the national strategies plan for the fight against HIV AIDS. And on the international scene, United States Democratic primaries, uh, Joe Biden takes uh, the lead so for Benny Sanders. Welcome to our newsroom, uh, the works of 150 ordinary session of uh, the League of Arab States were launched at the level of Arab Foreign Minister in preparation for the upcoming Arab Summit hosted by Algeria. The agenda of this session, which will be held at the headquarters of Arab League in Egyptian capital Cairo, including uh, the Palestinian issues uh, and its uh, development, as well as the situation in Libya, Syria, Yemen, and Iraq. The work of the session was attended by the Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Corporation, Mr. Mohamed Ali Yusuf, and the high-ranking delegation of Djibouti, among them the Ambassador of the Republic of Djibouti in the Arab Republic of Egypt, the Parliament and Permanent Delegate to the League of Arab States, Mr. Mohamed Daira Hersi, and the Director of Arab Department of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. In Toronto now, the Minister of Energy in charge of natural resources, Mr. Yunus Ali Gedi, uh, participated in the leadership of high-level delegation of Djibouti at the International Meaning Conference uh, held in Toronto, Canada. Djibouti's uh, participation in the largest global forum for the mining industries uh, this uh, year reflected its uh, interest uh, in working on all axes uh, to advance uh, the mining sector, including external communication with international investors uh, and companies, uh, the promotions of uh, communities and opportunities uh, in Djibouti. Hundreds of uh, com companies uh, and more than 25,000 people from more than uh, 135 countries participate around the world. Moving on to the national news now, the Minister of Health organized in Charlton Hotel a consultative workshop on the midterms, uh, the plan for this year, which is uh, included in the National Strategies Plan to combat uh, HIV AIDS. So the workshop was shared by the Secretary General of the Ministry of Health, Mr. Salah Abenouita Turab. This occasion came after two days uh, full of uh, joint activities and efforts uh, between the Ministry of Health and those uh, concerned with combating HIV AIDS. Uh, the events took place in the presence of the World Health Organization representative, Mr. Ahmed, uh, the representative of uh, United Nations HIV AIDS program and several technical partners and international agencies working in the country. It is uh, important and reported that uh, the Republic of Djibouti has made uh, great progress in the past year in the fight against HIV AIDS and has made tremendous effort and remarkable achievement uh, to combat the virus uh, uh, which is uh, a treat in the whole of uh, the work in, in the whole of the world. The Ministry of uh, Health has also drawn up uh, a national strategy plan to achieve uh, the goals set up uh, in the United Nations political declaration of uh, the 16 and uh, the 16 years uh, on combating HIV AIDS. Uh, in any speech on this occasion, the Secretary General of uh, the Ministry of Health, Mr. Salah Benita Turab, explained that uh, the ministry is uh, striving uh, to combat uh, this disease uh, and the virus uh, that uh, leads uh, to HIV. And uh, he also said uh, this uh, consultative workshop is a part of uh, the midterms plan of national strategy steps uh, to combat uh, the HIV AIDS. Uh, our country has made a great progress in the past year in the fight against HIV AIDS and has made tremendous effort and remarkable achievement to combat the HIV AIDS epidemic, which is a treat worldwide, said the Secretary General of Health. 
Yesterday, in Charlton Hotel, hosted a training session for social workers uh, on reception techni technicians for people with disabilities. Uh, the opening ceremony of this event took place uh, in the presence of Director General for the National Agency for Special uh, Needs, Mr. Mohamud, and the National Network for Persons with Disabilities uh, and Legal Advisor to the Arab Labor Organization. This training courses on reception technician for people with the disabilities in activate, uh, is activated by experts from Arab countries, uh, including experts from the University of Tunis. Uh, this uh, training course, uh, which will enhance the capacity and competence of social workers, lasts about uh, three days. Uh, this initiative is part of the agency's effort to enhance the capability and competence of social workers in order to provide the necessary care for persons with disabilities throughout the country. It is worth nothing that uh, the National Agency for People with Special Needs uh, was uh, established at the initiative of uh, President of the Republic, His Excellency Ismail Margili, in the context of his interest in the rights of persons with disabilities, as this step came in light of the government's endorsement to enable this segment of society to live a decent and suitable life, achieve them with active participation. In any speech to the Director General of National Agency for a Special Need, Mr. Duali Saeed Mohammed, on this occasion he expressed at the outset thanks and gratitude to the delegation of the Organization of Labor in the League of Arab States. He said, We are following more with the fellow partners, especially Mr. Faisal Ahmed Al Azhari. Under the auspice of the Ministry of Health, the administrations of Ali Sabih Regional Hospital launched the first phases of a child vaccination campaign to protect against malaise uh, to contain uh, to protect against disease. Uh, the launching ceremony of the campaign took place in the presence of high-ranking personalities, including Deputy uh, Prefect Mr. Hamed Abbas and uh, Vice President of uh, Regional Council Mr. Noor uh, Said. Uh, according to the Ministry of Health, uh, this uh, process continues uh, for a period of eight days, and uh, the hospital has also mobilized all the hospital staffs, including director, nurses, technician to make uh, this uh, campaign successful in a statement to the Ministry of Health. The Ministry calls on all parents uh, to take their children to the health centers near them to vaccinate uh, their children. According to the roadmap of National Federation of uh, Decade Rio Game, uh, the following the various activities uh, that were held in northern region on the countries, uh, the activities of this competition of, for the games of uh, Decade Rio uh, con games uh, continue in the area of uh, the entry and identification in the 27th of June. This competition brought together uh, many teams uh, uh, descending from the southern region that uh, plays uh, this game, which is Ali Sabih Dekhil Asaila locality. More than 200 young men from the southern region of uh, different ages groups uh, participate in this competition. This game aims to select outstanding students uh, who will participate in major competition in Djibouti it should be uh, it should be also noted that uh, this uh, competition uh, witness uh, the participation of the local authorities headed by logic governors Mr. Aden uh, by the prefect of the region Mr. Aden Daral Musa and the representative of the youth members of uh, general committee 
of uh, the popular Ms. and uh, rally for the progress party Mr. Mahadda Hussein Ahmed and the head of uh, community uh, development center as well as representative of the centralization office. Uh, in Doha Association uh, in Rwanda region uh, organize uh, a closing ceremony of for uh, the activities uh, of the infrastructure enhancement project and the drilling of a well through solar energy. The values of uh, financing this project among them more than eight, than 83 uh, US dollar uh, by the Japanese Im embassy. Upon his arrival to Rwanda village, the delegation was received by the village uh, official notables and occults uh, in this regard, the events witness the participation of the ambassador of Japan in Djibouti, the deputy governor of the Jura region, Mr. Habib Jilani, the representative of the regional council, and the head of uh, Randa village, as well as uh, a senior figure from the Japanese uh, embassy. Moving on to the international level, uh, former Vice President Joe Biden won uh, Virginia's uh, Democratic primary, the contest uh, by a large margin Tuesday, which is uh, with exist polls uh, showing that uh, voters uh, choose uh, mainly based on the uh, who they throw, who they thought had uh, the best chances of uh, beating President Trump this fall. Uh, the broad victory confirmed firm Biden is uh, renewed, strengthened after his uh, uh, early uh, showing and suggests the appeal of establishment candidates uh, to a wide swatch of uh, voters uh, anxious to find a winner in the fractious uh, democratic file. Biden was uh, powered by African American voters who uh, counted for about uh, quarters of those uh, casting in Virginia on Thursday, according to exist polling conducted by Edison Media Researches. This is it for this edition. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful evening.